Assalamu alaikum dear students you are watching MLT MCQs I am Kamran. Today MCQs will be from hematology and chemistry tests and we will talk about 10 best MCQs. So let's start the MCQs. Our MCQ number 1 is why would the uric acid blood test be ordered? Options for this question are assess treatment of hypouricemia, screen for uric acid kidney stones or gout, assess for inflammation, assess for infection and the right answer for this question is option number 2. Uric acid blood test is ordered to screen for uric acid kidney stones or gout. MCQ number 2 is what is meant by type A blood? Question number 2 what is meant by type A blood? Options for this question are has the A antigen and antibodies in plasma against B antigen? Has the B antigen and antibodies in plasma against A antigen? has neither the A antigen nor the B antigen and antibodies in plasma against A antigen and B antigen, has the A antigen and the B antigen and no antibodies in plasma against A antigen and B antigen. The right answer for this question is option number 1. Blood type A means that it has the A antigen and antibodies in plasma against B antigen. MCQ number 3 is what is the purpose of a chemistry screen? Question number 3 what is the purpose of a chemistry screen? Option for this question are assess the sequential multi-channel analysis with computer SMAC only assess blood carrying capability of blood only, assess blood serum only, assess the patient's overall health. The right answer for this question is option number 4, assess the patient's overall health. For this purpose chemistry screening is used. MCQ number 4 is why would the prothrombin time PT test be ordered. Options for this question are risk for bleeding, therapeutic level of uh, comedin, vitamin K deficiency, all of the above. And the right answer for this question is option number 4 all of the above. MCQ number 5 is what does the total serum protein test assess? What does the total serum protein test assess? Options for this question are albumin, globulin, total protein or all of the above and the right answer for this question is option number 4 all of the above. MCQ number 6 is what does the serum osmolality test measure? Options for this question are the volume of blood in the body, antidiuretic hormone, the number of particles of substances that are dissolved in the serum, the dose of vasopressin and the right answer for this question is option number 3 the number of particles of substances that are dissolved in the serum. MCQ number 7 is the mean carpuscular volume MCV indicates the mean carpuscular volume MCV indicates options for this question are the size of white blood cells, the size of red blood cells, the concentration of hemoglobin or the distribution of white blood cells and the right answer for this question is option number 2 the mean 
corpuscular volume MCV indicates the size of red blood cells. MCQ number 8 is an elevated C reactive protein CRP level prior to surgery may indicate options for this question are higher risk of infection following surgery, lower risk of infection following surgery, surgery is no longer necessary all the above and the right answer for this question is option number 1. An elevated C reactive protein level prior to surgery may indicate higher risk of infection following surgery. Dear students, subscribe to our channel MLT MCQs. In this channel, MCQs are given every other day from all MLT subjects which will be helpful in all your exams. Whether the exams are from your college or university or for foreign jobs. So, kindly subscribe our channel MLT MCQs. MCQ number 9 is what does the sedimentation rate SR which is also called ESR erythrocyte sedimentation rate. So, what does the sedimentation rate Myers? Options for this question are the number of erythrocytes that settle to the bottom of a test tube in an R screen for inflammation, assess treatment of inflammation, all of the above and the right answer for this question is option number 4, all of the above. MCQ number 10 is, why is the reticulocyte count test ordered? Why is the reticulocyte count test ordered? The options for this question are screen for anemia, screen for risk of bleeding, assess the vitamin B12 level, assess the vitamin B6 level and the right answer for this question is option number 1. The reticulocyte count test is ordered to screen for anemia. Thanks all for today. Like this video and share it with your friends. Take good care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.